My name is Jimberly, I'm in 8th grade and I go to the Arlington Middle School. Hi, I'm Antar and I go to the Weatherby in 8th grade. My name is Solange, um, I'm in 7th grade and I go to the Emily G. Weatherby School. My name is Melvin, uh, I'm in grade 7 and I go to the Arlington Middle School. My name is Jen Elkin. And I got involved with Squash Busters mostly because my husband was involved first and it I just learned about it through him and pretty quickly got so excited about it that I wanted to volunteer myself. Hi, I'm Adrina. I'm 17. I go to the book school and I'm a senior. And I am I come from a similar program in the Bronx as well. So I definitely had to volunteer. Squashbusters was something that immediately attracted me when I taught fifth grade two years ago when they did the spring tryouts because of the buy-in that all the volunteers and all the people involved and the employees of Squashbusters had when they were introducing it and when they were letting the kids demo it. It just seemed e like it was intensely organized, there was no downtime, and they had the kids buy in right away. It was not a hard thing, I think, for Phillips Academy to say yes to. In part, it was the energy of Tom Hodgson, the varsity boys squash coach, and somebody who really wanted to do it. But it seemed like it was something that everybody who heard about it said, absolutely, we should do it. So this, this was in the no-brainer category for us. There's a lot of um, encouragement by the staff members and they're really nice and they help me with my homework a lot and I think that's going to help me with school, achieve more. That we like get to hang out with teammates and like play matches. I would say I like the tournaments, they're very intense. Um, cheering for your teammates, so, like you want them to win but you also want yourself to win. I like playing squash with people that don't take it easy, like, they have no mercy. Building positive and exciting relationships with the kids. It's really awesome how involved Dora and all the other helpers who are new this year and Scott last year are to these kids both in squash but also academically and personally. Um, most of our kids, like, really value the squash but they value the relationships that they're forming with these outside volunteers um, more. Our students at Phillips Academy love participating in Squash Busters and I think they get a ton of energy from working with the kids. I think they learn a lot about themselves as they are teaching a game that they love and I think it's just a fabulous partnership. One of the things that really impresses me about Squash Busters is the professionalism of the people who are running the program a real understanding about education, about educating this age group, and a real ability to be sort of, give, you know, be kind, caring, and direct at the same time. The mission of Phillips Academy is non civvy not for self, and Squash Busters uh, ties beautifully into that, and we're really proud to be a part of it. As a Squash Busters teammate, you need to be a leader to others, a role model. It means to show I care values to try your hardest on court, to help the people around you. To like, be loyal to your friends and like if your friend has a bad day, like try to cheer, cheer him up. It's mostly about helping and caring about each other. I'm, um, I'm still really shy and it's a bit hard for me to get comfortable in places that are new but I'm more open to talking to people. When I was like, I, I was in Squash Buster, I, I used to have like really bad grades and now that Squash Buster, Squash Buster like make me ha like behave better. I feel like I have more confidence ever since I joined Squash. I feel like um, Squash has pushed me to be myself and don't be afraid. I got a 
summer um, program to MIT, five weeks, and it was an amazing experience, and it was for the help from Squash. One thing definitely is the shaking of the hands, which is a good uh, sign of communication with which they would need in life. They sort of see what's out ahead of them. And I wouldn't say every single child, but I certainly have conversations with kids who are talking about the colleges you visit, the high schools that they, they're doing squash in, and they're starting to think about, what's this mean for me? I have a very special relationship with a student, Melvin Rojas, and he was someone who I was like, you have to sign up for squash, you have to sign up for squash. And he wasn't going to do it just because he didn't think he was that type of kid. And um, it's been an intense success story for us. I mean, Melvin comes from a great family. Um, you know, he does have some support at home, but he goes home to an empty house because dad works. And this has been his doorway out of his apartment. Um, his academic success has skyrocketed. His gr growth in math and ELA are almost the top in our school for last year. Um, he came to me in the fifth grade as a non-English speaker. And his sixth grade involvement in Squash Busters helped him to make growth that in, in academics, but also athletically and personally and socially that he never would have been able to do without them. So the high school I'm going to um, is Lawrence High. Um, and I want to work my way to the top and be the top. So when I go to college, they look at that and they see um, success. To become a professional squash player and graduate from college and great, get, get straight A's. For this year, I'm striving to get straight A's all year again um, and to hopefully get into one of the schools of my dreams. Thank you so much for doing what you're doing for this program. I would also like to say thank you, um, not only for me, for everybody else. For the people that helped us, thank you so much because we couldn't, we couldn't start this program without you. I said, come on in, I will not open myself up this way again, and I lay my face to the soil, and all my teeth to the soil.